with myexbackcoach.com and I'm going to talk to you about what your ex is thinking during no contact. Now the no contact rule is um, something that a lot of people hear about after they've been broken up with and they're trying to get their ex back. And some people call it a tactic or a strategy or a scheme or a game to try to get your ex back. I don't consider it a game and if you do it correctly it's not a game because what you're actually doing is an appropriate response to a breakup when someone wants to break up with you or in their relationship as it was with you the appropriate mature adult response is to give them that space you don't force yourself into a, a relationship with someone that's childish when someone tells you this is what I want for my life the appropriate response is to give them that you trying to force yourself back into a relationship with them or forcing them to stay is not mature and is not the appropriate response not contacting them letting them have the breakup is actually not just mature but it's showing you're a good listener and that you're not going to force yourself on other people it's really pretty simple and so the no contact rule allows your ex to experience the breakup instead of you being there constantly they don't get to know what it's really like without you they get to experience the breakup and when they do a lot of times if you had a good relationship with them they miss you because you let them do it you let them miss you by not being there so that's the no contact rule explained now the question is what is your ex thinking during no contact and this is really important to a lot of people. They want to know what their ex is feeling and thinking and what's going on with their ex during no contact. So the first thing that usually happens with an ex when they don't hear from you is they get really curious because they thought they would hear from you. And so they're wondering, what are you doing? Who are you doing it with? They're wondering why you're not reaching out to them because most of the time people do that most of the time people when they've been dumped they call they text they want to have a conversation they want to talk about the relationship and since you're not doing that it's it's interesting it's different and so your ex becomes curious now the next thing that usually goes on in their mind is that curiosity turns into uh, concern now concern can quickly turn into fear because they begin to wonder if maybe They've made a big mistake and maybe they've blown it with you because they haven't heard from you so in their mind who knows what you're doing have they blown it with you have they really messed things up by breaking up with you are you to the point of no return where they can't get you back or where you may never come back and that's when it can turn into preoccupation where they're just constantly obsessively thinking about you what are you doing why are you not reaching out have they lost you and it can get really crazy inside of their heads. Now, some of you, it's okay, admit it. You kind of like that idea, right? Maybe the tables turn a little bit. And instead of you sitting around with this horrible feeling in your stomach and feeling like the world is coming to an end and all you can see is the horribleness that is this breakup. Why did this person leave me? Am I ever going to get to hold him in my arms again? instead of you feeling that now they are feeling that and that's when no contact can be very successful and the ex will contact you because they just can't stand it anymore they become so desperate and they become so preoccupied with this idea that what maybe they've lost you they've got to reach out to you and hopefully try to get you back and they want to test the water and that's when it's really important that you have the appropriate response to them which is you're not going to be bitter or cold or mean you're not going to ignore them some people think that no contact means that if your ex reaches out to you that you ignore them and that's not true no contact simply means you don't initiate contact with them no contact doesn't mean you become a jerk or a jerk yet yeah we'll go with that so that's what your ex thinks during no contact that's kind of the process the progression is they go from curiosity to concern then to fear then it can turn into obsession, desperation, preoccupation. So it's a good thing if you've been dumped to hear that, right? That's a that's what you want your ex going through. And the only way they can do that is if 
you disappear so they can wonder about you and their mind becomes an ally for you. If you'd like to schedule a coaching call, we can get a roadmap to get your ex back. I can show you how to use no contact extremely effectively. I can encourage you during no contact. I can listen if you think you have a situation that doesn't really fit the norm for those kinds of things. And if you'd like to know some more about what's going on in the mind of your ex and how it can help you and how you can use that knowledge to get your ex back, just visit my exbackcoach.com and set up a coaching call with me. I enjoy helping, I care, and I do get to help people with, who are in situations just like yours. So that's my exbackcoach.com. Please subscribe to my channel so that you can know when other things like this come out from me and that can help you get your ex back or just have better success in relationships. Myexpatcoach.com, please subscribe and thank you for watching this video.